Hello all. This video is on transformer construction and internals. With this video, you would get an opportunity to get a closer look in and around a transformer and its working principle and understand the oil cooling mechanism. Hope you all will enjoy this video. What you see in this picture is a simple internal construction of a step down transform. For simplicity, we have shown here a single phase step down transformer. So the high voltage side has windings around a core through a bushing and then the low voltage side is over here with less number of turns and through the bushing it comes out of course with a neutral as we saw in that earlier video and the entire uh, stuff or the entire transformer tank is filled up with oil that's the transformer oil it has two purpose one is to cool down and other is to uh, act as an insulator and uh, we have seen that the transformer cooling is of O N A N type that is oil natural and air natural type so oil which is getting heated up due to the transforming action the hot oil goes higher in level and the cold oil comes down so the hot oil enters the air cooling fence and gets cooled and then it goes down so there is a natural convec natural circulation of the transformer oil so oil which is cooling the transformer winding gets cooled by air by natural action that's why it is called as oil natural and air natural cooling and as we saw in that video like we have a drain valve at the bottom just to replenish oil or drain out and flush the tank and check for internal corrosions and the conservator tank high power transformers has some diaphragm here so that air doesn't come in direct contact with the oil and uh, the transformer circuit so you have a rubber diaphragm which goes down or rises up depending on the temperature of the oil or expansion and air is allowed inside the conservator tank or expelled outside of the conservator tank depending on the diaphragm movement so hope uh, you guys have enjoyed this video about the transformer so whenever next time you go out or you walk on the road if you find a transformer i think this would be easy to identify various parts but be careful not to go uh, near the transformer when it is live safety first so what you see is the oil level for the conservator of a transformer and now we are seeing the distribution transformer which is air and oil cooled here are the secondary tappings from the transformer that is UVW or RYB with a neutral so it's a three wire I mean three phase four wire system two indicates that it is secondary and these are the air cooling fins and that's the bottom drain to drain out the oil during maintenance and now we're going to see about the tappings we have five tappings in this transformer to reduce or increase the operating voltage on the HP side as per the nameplate details so these are the HV or high voltage bushings we have three phases no neutral in it and 11,000 ohms enter the primary winding of the transformer through these bushings and uh, and the next is the conservator tank which will usually have a diaphragm rubber where half is filled with oil and the other half is with air so that any expansion is compensated for and here is the explosion vent from the transformer casing and if something goes wrong within that the excess pressure is being relieved from it 
so uh, that's it about the construction and uh, internal details in the next video we'll discuss about the nameplate details and the switch tapping positions in detail thank you for watching